earth freaks, the coming of the earth people. This book is dedicated to human beings who realize that their incarnation in an alive human body is a divine miracle. Life is brief, fragile, precious. I use the term earth freaks, a fused word, in the sense of earth enthusiasts, people who are, uh, care about the earth, who want to preserve our planet and the world, stewards, uh, caregivers, earth freaks, like uh, world travel freaks or surfing freaks, you know. Uh, it, it, it's dedicated to one earth pioneers who refuse to waste their life trying to reform their uh, out-of-date, old-fashioned, corrupted nation. Revolutionaries, mutineers, rebels. We need an Earth people revolution now. Earth people, Earth freaks, unite. We've suffered enough. Haven't you suffered enough personally? Think about it. Have you been enslaved enough to finally realize who is the fool? Enslaved in these prepackaged lives under direct government rule? Earth Freaks is my coming of age memoir as I drifted through Laos. Sumatra, Bali, Singapore, Borneo, Malaysia, Thailand, India. It's a fast-moving story. Each chapter is a new Earth zone. And along the way, I just enjoy the exotica of the nature and the exotica of the flesh. Mm. On pure opium, marijuana, LSD. Well, look, let's talk about the earth people and the nations. What's up? Okay, it's 2020. Uh, Hong Kong. They're, they're, they're revolting uh, to preserve freedom and freedom of expression. You know, China, unyielding, uncompromising attitude, cannot negotiate, cannot talk about anything except our... Doesn't that sound kind of characteristic of, hello, all nations? China, oh yeah, they got a million Ugars, their own, you know, citizens, imprisoned under the stupid camouflage that they're re-educating them. Mo Muslim Ugars. Well, let's glance over to India. They've just uh, put under house arrest seven million Kashmiris. India, get a life. Let the Kashmiris vote. Pakistan, back off. The Kashmiris don't want any of your bullshit from either of you. Let them vote. They'd vote to create a new Earth zone and get a seat at the United Nations. That's what they'd do. Beautiful Islamic treasure. I've been up there. I've just loved those Kashmiri people, the beautiful lake up in Srinagar, Turkey. They can't jail journalists fast enough, seems like, over there. What? Oh, Kurds? Oh, let's, let's ethnically cleanse them. And they're, they're not even ethnically cleansing them in their own so-called countries. They're pushing them in Syria. Murdering Kurds. Iran? They just shot a couple hundred 
uh, protesters to death because they can't pay the new price for petrol. Lebanon? They're revolting there. Look, it's the young people in all these countries that are leading the way. They're the, they're the tip of the spear in Lebanon. Uh, the, the, the disgusting corruption, the, the fat cats on the top of the mountain over there lining their pockets with billions? That's right, billions. And they won't even throw some coins down to have the garbage picked up. Beirut stinks. It literally stinks of rotting garbage. Venezuela. I mean, do I need to say anything? They trash their own country and people fleeing across the borders, desperate to get some food. Common people starving in a so-called modern country. It's getting harder to breathe all over planet Earth because Brazil is burning down the Amazon lungs of planet Earth to, why? Make fast money? Short-term fast money to hell with the kids, the future? Israel <sighs> continues its drip-feed ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians, pushing to legitimize in the encroaching Jewish settlements. Poland, Hungary, right-wing demagogues putting the squeeze on any kind of common person self-expression and joy. Miramar, ethnically cleansed 700,000 Rohingya. Natives who were born there and lived there for multiple generations push them over the river into Bangladesh in a squalid refugee camp, the world's biggest slum over there. Hun Sen, Cambodia. Ah, what's his background? Hun Sen, his longest dictator on the planet. He was a Kumar Rouge general, cutthroat. General that helped kill two million Cambodians in this gruesome auto genocide. It's not enough to like go outside your own country anymore. Russia continues to imprison, and even if you get away, they'll poison you in England and Germany, wherever they want to. Hope you're not addicted to anything because in the Philippines, Duterte will gun you down extra judiciously. Yeah, he just like kind of nods and like, you know, kill that person, you know. What am I trying to say? <sighs> Earth people, common people, you, me. We've suffered enough. We've been enslaved enough. We're tired of being economic throwaway slaves, you know, for rich, fat demagogues. Well, a little about me. I'm an accomplished journalist. I won the Ernie Pyle Journalistic Award. Um, I designed my own books. Earth Freaks is a coffee table book, beautifully illustrated with 40 photographs. I use no outside editors. It's all just me, from the design of the book to the content. I'm a mellow Buddhist, 72. <laughs> my favorite pastime is wandering around the Buddhist countries of Southeast Asia with a small day pack and a beautiful digital camera. Mm. Well, enjoy the story. And I hope it motivates you uh, to resist and, and not take it anymore.
from the unreasonable exploitation of your life? If it's like a drip feed worker slave paradigm you've got yourself caught into? Conscripted into a national military? Kill other people? Other human earth people you've never quarreled with or nothing against? Power to the earth people. Let's endure and unite. Our planet's worth saving and our lives are worth being joyful, healthy, breathe fresh air, drink pure water. That's what Earth Freaks is all about. Enjoy it. Get uh, turned on by it. And uh, maybe it'll open a new portal, a new chapter for your life. It's been a pleasure to record this video performance. It's about a four and a half hour uh, audio visual performance book. And I've enjoyed recording it on my porch in Hawaii. <laughs> oh.